Hello, thank you guys so much for coming to this video today. I really appreciate it. We have a lot of great news in this video today about Cardano. We're gonna be talking about the Sunday Swap ISO. I know the last 10 titles have been about that, uh, but this is really the final update that we have until the DEX is released, right? And I'll obviously give you an update uh, when the DEX is coming. Uh, but we're gonna be going over that. The winners, the pools that were selected for the ISO, Bloom was selected, but we're gonna be going into that in just a minute. Cardano is actually the most active chain with 18 billion in TXs. We're gonna be talking about that. That is ahead of Ethereum and many other chains, but we're gonna be looking into those details and see if there's any nuance to that. But it's still exciting either way. The chain has been really bustling with activity and I'm excited to see it. Also, the Cardano DAP connector CIP was pushed. So we're gonna be talking about that today. That's an update from DC Spark. We also have another update from DC Spark about the Milko Meta testnet that actually allows uh, developers to use Solidity on Cardano, and I've actually seen some test ADA over there and seen some transactions, but really excited to talk about all of this content today. Uh, but if you guys do enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button, comment it down below if you have any questions, subscribed, hit the notification bell and clicked all. It really does support the channel and the algorithm and helps me push this Cardano content out wider and further. But let's jump into the video today. Okay. So this is honestly awesome news. I've done some digging to make sure this information is correct, but I saw this post from Dr. Shweta. Cardano is the most active chain with 18.24 billion TXs. Not bad for a ghost chain. Uh, and I like the uh, rocket ship. Every day, every slot, every epoch, we're out here. Cardano, happy to see it. So I went to go check out most active chains, and this is Masari. And if you look in the bottom right-hand corner of this image, the data was actually pulled from Masari. So we're going to go check out Masari, see what see what they've been up to lately. And remember, this was posted a few days ago, but we wanted to actually look at what they're listing here and see, because that seems like a lot of value, and it seems kind of hard to believe that Cardano would overpass Ethereum. So I thought maybe there's a little bit more nuance to this data. And if you've also noticed when you send ADA, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and they'll send, you know, a thousand ADA or something, but they'll have 10,000 ADA. And they'll notice that when they send the ADA, if they click on the transaction, it says they're sending the whole 10,000, but then refunding a good bit of that to another address. And that's just how UTXO works, ladies and gentlemen. So to so if you need to actually reference an address, right? Let's say you have one address here with 10,000 ADA, another address here with 1,000 ADA. Well, if you go to send both of these, the UTXO actually has to reference both of these. So let's say you send 10,500 ADA, right? You'll have to send from both of these addresses. So it'll select this one, select this one, send 10,500 to the address that you want to send it to, and then it'll refund that extra 500 back to another address that is in you know your list of addresses. So I thought maybe that's what they're counting here, right? Maybe they're counting the volume, including the UTXO output, because that does seem a bit high to me. But I come here, I look, they have transaction volume 24 hours, still at 17.29 billion. Uh, there's a couple things that could have done this. Hosky token we're going to be talking about in a second. Uh, and also Sunday swap, the Sunday swap vote. Because even if you're just voting 2.388 you know, or, or three numbers, 2.781, you know, and you're using an address with 5,000 ADA, but you're only sending two, it'll send the whole 5,000, but send the 2.78 to yourself and then refund the rest of it to another address. That's just how UTXO works. So I think that the data that they're using kind of puts us a little higher. So I looked even further, Cardano Blockchain Insights. We went to this video, shout out to Cardano Fan Stake Pool. Thank you for this tool, very useful. And we look at the total volume per day. And the total volume per day shows right here, you know, the initial 18 billion that was reported and look we're going down to 15 and now 18 now that sunday swaps died down a little bit and so his hosky but look there is a couple more here right adjusted volume for day this is the total volume minus the transactions where the sending address was contained on the receiving address right so if we look here we're still getting you know really 11 billion 12 billion, and this is in USD, ladies and gentlemen. So then the real volume per day, this is the total volume from selected groups of exchanges classified as reliable by Masari. And look, still right here, and these are just exchanges. You know, we got 1 billion right there, 
500 million the day before. Honestly, still cool to see these stats, but I want to look at the delegation per day. Uh, this one's my favorite because we are quickly approaching 1 million wallets. I mean, just in that. So in one day, we went up about four, three, three, four thousand 4,000 wallets total staked. Uh, this is awesome. Very cool news. We're going to be at a million, uh, I think, by the end of next month or by the end of this month if things speed up a little bit, uh, which is cool. And again, we've passed over 2 million ADA wallets. And then the, L the ADA delegated per wallet, this is so good in my eyes because you know the, the more people that have ADA in their wallet, the more decentralized the network is, in my opinion, right? The more users that have ADA that can choose to vote or choose to stake with their own opinion, you know, the more decentralized the network is. So if we look at over here, starting in February, the average ADA delegated per wallet was 100,000. And let's see what it's at now. We're at 26,000 ADA per wallet, uh, and that's since February. So we've got a lot of uh, good stats here. And, um, Things are improving, and we can also see the new ADA wallets per day. We're looking at ten thousand, eight thousand, you know, and this is you know obviously changing every day, but it's it's keeping up high. Uh, there's a lot more stats here. If you guys want to use this, I'll have the uh, link down in the description below. But let's go on to the Sunday Swap vote part of the video. The Sunday Swap ISO vote is over, and Bloom was one of the thirty stake pools that were selected as to be a trusted stake pool operator to distribute Sunday tokens during the length of the ISO. But let's do a quick recap. What is the ISO? The ISO is an initial stake offering, and initially Sunday Swap came out uh, as a as a decentralized exchange, stating we're going to release our decks on this date, but we need money to fund the decks. But they actually receive funding. So now they thought, how do we take this ISO model that everyone's excited about and really give it back to the people? How do we get this to more users, not run the pools ourselves? Well, what they decided to do is actually select 30 stake pool operators to pay the tokens during the period of the ISO, and they did a vote. And what you had to do as a delegate is you just send ADA to yourself, and that would classify as a vote for any of these stake pools. So Bloom was actually one of the stake pools selected. Uh, and what does this mean for Bloom and any other of these stake pools that were collected? Normally you earn ADA per epoch, but during the length of the ISO, and this is actually gonna start when the DEX is released, all Bloom pools will pay Sunday tokens that you can use as governance tokens with the DEX, or you could you know, sell them, uh, do whatever you want with them. Uh, you know, our pool will actually pay these tokens on top of ADA rewards, and we were voted in by delegates. We were, we were 10th, but there are many other pools that you can delegate to to earn Sunday tokens. Uh, but if you guys do want to support us, all Bloom pools will. So Bloom through Bloom 6, none of the Bloom pools pay higher Sunday. Also, the ranking here, you know, number one doesn't pay more Sunday tokens uh, than the last one. And I, another question I get often uh, is, is it too late to delegate to you to earn Sunday? No, you don't have to delegate until before the epoch that the DEX is launched. We don't have a date yet that the DEX will be launched, but when we do, as long as you delegate before the epoch starts that the DEX is launched, you will earn these tokens. So you can delegate now or later. If you want that update, just subscribe to this channel. You click the notification bell uh, and you'll, you'll get those notifications on your phone. But there are many other great pools that won these tokens. Uh, a few to mention, uh, Blue Cheese Steakhouse down here, Andrew Westberg, he's, he's great for the community. Frog, Grow, Blade, Master, At Ada, Nerd. There's a lot of good operators that were selected on here. Um, so yeah, let's go into the next part of the video. I never thought I would be making about a, a video about a shit coin, uh, but here we are. And there's a shit coin on Cardano called Hosky. And I actually like it. I actually like it. They have they've posted some pretty funny memes on their Twitter account. Uh, if you want some memes, follow their Twitter account. But it was really unique what they did. And they're not just claiming a bunch of money. People or, or from people are listing on an exchange. They're saying on their Twitter, saying we will have no value. We're we're worthless, or we are Hosky holders uh, because none of us can afford a billion ADA, right? And then you go to their website, and they have the brown paper, and they have the doggy bowl. The doggy bowl is currently offline because they've received too many transactions, over 100,000. But when you click this, they only charge 0.5 ADA, you know, to receive the Hosky tokens back. And the bowl will be open soon. Uh, but if you guys, you know, want to play around with some shit coins, spend 0.5 ADA, all you have to do is come to this website right here, Hosky.io. And then once you do that, you can just click the doggy bowl and send two ADA and you get some, uh, some Hosky tokens back. But why is this in this video? Uh, because we were talking about the transaction volume earlier. So 
In the transaction volume earlier, we saw a large amount of transactions relative to history. Well, one of those things is this doggy bowl right here uh, and also uh, the Sunday swap vote. So that's why we've saw these transactions. And you guys got to think, these are just two two projects or, you know, one shit coin in a project. I don't know if we can call Hosky, uh, you know, uh, a project. But imagine, you know, as Cardano grows and, you know, there's 10 big projects and then 20 and then 50, uh, you know, we're really seeing this exponential growth here. Uh, and it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. But let's go on to the next part of the video. So I'm excited to announce the rare bloom in this video. And this is your first little bit of information. I'm going to be giving out more information about speakers, but everything else you need to know very soon. But this is going to be a Cardano community event in Denver, Colorado. And it's actually at a hotel and resort center. So you can stay in the hotel, walk right downstairs and go to the Cardano community event. It's going to be a two day event hosted on the 14th and on the 15th. And again, this is in October of 2022. So you have a lot of time to prepare. And we did this for a reason. We did this for a reason because we want everyone, you know, to have time to put this on their calendar, to prepare for it, to build their booths, to get their merch ready. You know, there's a lot that goes into building these events and we know that. And we're going to, we're actually going to consult with the best to make sure that this event is the best. And I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling in the next couple of months, you know, to really go to other events, you know, and see if there's a, there's anything going on that they like there. But these are actually going to be NFT tickets. Here's the first look at the general admission NFT ticket in the event. It's called the Rare Bloom. And we've already booked uh, exhibitors, speakers, panelists. I'll announce two today. I'll announce one that we haven't talked about, but one is Sunday Swap. Uh, Sunday Swap will be a speaker and exhibitor at our event. So very big news, but we're going to release them slowly uh, over the upcoming weeks and months. Uh, but here's another exhibitor too, uh, Ada Handle. Uh, I mean, I, I want to just, I want to literally just go bam, 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 bam to you guys. But we got to, you know, build up the hype uh, a little bit instead of just spoiling everything. Uh, but yeah, NFT tickets that you would buy the same way that you do it from an NFT drop. You can use that ticket to get into the event. We're also going to have NFT hotel tickets too. Uh, the, the resort and the actual venue that it is in is, comp is it's beautiful, right? And where did this idea come from? This idea came from the Bitcoin conference. I went to the BTC conference and I wasn't a big fan of it. I hated it. It was all about money. There were ladies walking around with their titties out. Uh, you know, where I went there to learn, to network, to build, you know, I love that Cardano ethos. And I felt that we needed to host a, an event that was better than the, the Bitcoin event. So 14 and 15th, if you have any questions, come to the Twitter account or join the Telegram down below uh, and start asking them. Uh, we're going to be releasing all of this information as it comes out soon. But the best thing to do is just follow the Twitter account, follow the Telegram. Again, it's a community event. We're giving away many booths, tickets, uh, hotel rooms to speakers in the community to value add people in the community. So Looking forward to it. It's going to be a blast. I'm excited to meet all you guys. Got some more news on DC Spark. This is one of the projects that are building on Cardano that I'm most excited about. And they stated, we finally got the first version of the Cardano DAP connector spec merged. We have many more ideas planned for the spec moving forward, but we plan to continue iterating on it. So DC Spark is actually started by Nico and Sebastian. Uh, and they were actually working at Emergo. They're who developed your Roy. And they left to start their own company, but they've been releasing a lot of information. One is a Flint wallet, right? So the, one of the reasons why they're so excited about this DAP connector CIP, CIP stands for Cardano Improvement Proposal. So this was, you know, merged to Cardano so people could, you know, use the spec for Cardano. And, you know, on Ethereum, what you use is a DAP connector wallet. You know, if you want to interact with, you know, a liquidity pool or you want to interact with anything on Ethereum, use any type of application, you need a DAP connector, a decentralized application connector for the wallets. So they already mentioned that they're going to be integrating this in the Flint wallet. But now that we have this improvement po proposal number 30, you know, all wallets can integrate this. This was important to have a standard on Cardano for DAP integrators. That's not the only information they've released this week. They also a huge milestone for Milka Meta and the DC Spark team. We just launched our private test net and we are very excited to onboard partners and test it out. It also already works with Flint Wallet, the wallet that we just mentioned. Updates about projects building here on the way. So this is kind of very, it's telling, it's, it's very telling, right? Huge milestone for Milka Meta. We just launched our private test net and they're onboarding partners. So these partners that they're onboarding, they also posted a picture 
uh, later on showing how many transactions there were. And it was in the thousands, which was very cool. Uh, but this is clearly, you know, they're, they're working with a few partners and they're using Solidity, uh, using Milka Meta to build out applications on the side chain. So it's, it's awesome that they're not only building the side chain to allow people to use Solidity to build these. Uh, they're also onboarding partners on a private test net, and I'm sure they're teaching them how to use their test net, how to build. So we may have some applications that we can all use on the Milko Meta test net or side chain. I guess it would be side chain, not test net. Once it, when it's released, it'll be a Milko Meta side chain um, and not a test net. But that is the end of the video today. Just a, a real quick recap. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you join the Discord server. It's discord.gg forward slash big pay. Uh, the best way to support this channel, other than you know pumping the algorithm with likes and comments, is delegating to Bloom. We have Bloom through Bloom 6. We actually minted the eighth block ever on the Cardano blockchain. So we've been here from the beginning. We'll be here till Cardano or till our end because Cardano will live past us all. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you made it till the end, comment Milko Meta down below.